Robin Van Persie. Oh, Robin Van Persie. Oh, Robin Van Persie. Oh, RVP and Rooney. Don't forget him. Mwah. Hey everyone, it's Mr. Flying Pig HD here with a little match reaction video to the Manchester United versus Arsenal game that's just taken place at Old Trafford. <sighs> Needless to say, we won the game 1 0. Uh, what a quality performance that was, really. Dominating the first half, Arsenal had a little spell in the middle of the half, but really we just dominated them in terms of possession and chances created. You know, we should do we're at home, we're Man United, we're the champions, and we did that. Moisey's tactics were spot on, the players were up for it, fighting, challenging hard. Rooney was all over the place, he was dominating people. He is a powerhouse, that man. That man is the definition of the word powerhouse. The engine that guy has is incredible. Quality performance from Rooney as usual this season because that guy's just been had a revelation of a season so far i'm um, so glad we kept hold of him in the summer uh i don't know what would be happening right now if we had let go of him so thank christ we got rooney uh robin van percy scored the goal a lovely little header from a rooney cross what can you say about robin van percy well you know he wasn't in the game a great deal today by his standards um and he you know got a really good chance to score it with a lovely header so that's the difference between United and Arsenal at the moment. Just a little bit of extra class up front. Giroud, their you know, main striker, was really not a threat at all for most of the game. You know, there were times in the second half where you know he settled into the game by then. But to be honest with you, for the, the majority of the game, he was completely out of it. He couldn't hold up the ball. He kept losing the ball. You know, That was the main difference between United and Arsenal. You can say about United lacking a certain amount of creativity in midfield. Which is true in my opinion, we could have done with an Ozil type player like Arsenal have. Arsenal have got loads of those quality playmaker, sort of, you know, world class pass master midfielders. Um, and United are lacking a little bit in that area. But what we do have is the two goddamn best strikers in the whole freaking league in Rooney and Van Persie. Now, great performance from both of them. Uh, and with those two strikers in your, in your team, then quite frankly, it doesn't matter if you've, if you've perhaps got a bit of a shit midfield because you just get the ball to those two and they're going to make shit happen and that's exactly what happened because uh, you know Rooney was quality, uh, Valencia was effective down the wing, Evro had a really good game in my opinion, uh, Kagawa did alright out on the left but you can tell it's definitely not his main, you know, his favourite position, he should be you know in behind the strikers if you ask me in a central role but obviously you know Rooney's sort of playing that role at the minute and it seems to be working so you know uh, Kagawa is sort of getting left out there on the left but I'm pretty sure next um, next game against Cardiff he'll be uh, in a central position now Vidic took a big blow to the head from uh, De Gea's hip it didn't look too good he got knocked the fuck out in fact so hopefully he's alright he had to go off at half time now we have got decent cover in that, in that position you know the likes of Evans, Smalling, Jones um, all can play those um, positions Ferdinand so it is a worry, probably maybe out for a game of concussion, but I think he'll be back pretty soon, so that's not too bad. Now, uh, oh, oh my god, that was a great game. <laughs> so, sorry everyone, but no, it's just such a relief off of my mind to, to know that we are now only five points behind the arseholes and one point above City because they lost against Sunderland. Ah! Come on! Get in there, my son. Oh. So that's how I feel about the situation. Uh, also, Tottenham lost <laughs> um, to uh, Newcastle, who were uh, fair play to them. They're on a good run of form at the moment. They, they beat Chelsea the other day, and they just gone away to Tottenham and beat them as well. So, fair play, Alan Pardew, getting a lot of stick this season. And you've, uh, you know, certainly silenced the critics, at least temporarily, or at least until your next loss. And then the Toon Army will be all over your case again, no doubt. But, uh, fair play to you for the minute. Um, so, yeah. If you actually analyse what's happened in terms of the teams and all the big teams have lost games this season, you know, two, two people you wouldn't expect them to lose to, it's no different for United. What it does mean now is United are only five points behind Arsenal and one point ahead of City. We're right back in the mix for the Premier League title. You know, you can say what you like about Moyes. I've certainly had, uh, had my uh, doubts about him and uh, certainly voiced some of my opinions about him, but... From a, a manager taking over from Alex Ferguson, he's done exceptionally well in the sense of he had that really bad start and there's all that criticism and pressure on him. And he sort of seemed to take it in the stride in the sense that he didn't let it affect his uh, tactics too much. 
Um, you know, he's stubborn in that sense. Uh, we all want, didn't want him to play defensively, and that's exactly what he didn't do, to be fair, because he, he's... Uh, today at Arsenal, there was times when I was thinking, right, OK, we're winning now, he's going to change, change it up here and make it so we don't lose the game, which I don't really want to see when you're playing Arsenal at home. I want to see us just attacking, 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 attacking. And that's pretty much what we did. I mean, obviously, in the second half, there's a mixture of attack and defence, but really, we, we always look like we're on the front foot. And so... David Moyes, in that sense, I think, if you look at all the other team's starts and all the other team's losses and where we are now after those 11 games, then it's an acceptable start for him, you know? United have never finished outside the top three in the Premier League era, and I don't think we will this year either. I think the worst we'll do is third, but I think we're right back in there challenging for the title now. Oh, it feels good. Oh, so it's like an orgasm. It's like a mangasm. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like... Ugh. So, uh, yeah, what did you think of the game? Uh, any standout performances from you? Uh, you know, your opinions, I'd be interested here below. Comment in the box. Um, also, you can follow me on Twitter, at MrFlyingPigHD. That's right, I'm on Twitter, at MrFlyingPigHD. So don't forget to follow that. And, um, yeah, well, you know, fantastic performance today. Puts us right back in the mix. Looking forward to the next game now, so we can claw up some more points, get even further ahead of City, and catch Arsenal up even more. Um... <laughs> Arsenal, unlucky, you are shit. Let's be honest. So, that's my personal opinion on the matter. What do you think? Please like, subscribe, comment below, and uh, generally take it easy and uh, enjoy the week. And